Hey guys! Today I'll show you how to bundle Yun seam pairs and add physics to them. First, you'll need Blender. I use version 3.6.7. Don't use newer builds like 4.0 and up since most of the plugins you will need for this video or another one won't work. After that, you'll need Unity. I use Unity 2018.1.0 F2 but any version of 2018 and 2017 should work. And lastly, you'll need Yander Simulator with Pose Mod. All the links will be in the description and comments. In the background, you're seeing how I'm preparing. You'll need an FBX of your hair and a texture that comes with it. You can find them in Discord servers. I'll link some in the description. Let's begin with opening Blender. I won't go in depth for the controls, so I hope you know the basics. Import in your FBX. Click this icon so you can view the textures. If they don't appear, do this. Select the mesh. Go to this tab called Materials. Click on this dot next to base color and select Image Texture. Now import in your texture image. To rig the hair, I'll add an already rigged one to transfer the data. Here I'm deleting unnecessary meshes and bones so the rig fits better. It's important to have a rigged model similar to your hair model, so the transfer process is easier. Now select your mesh. While holding shift, select the rig. Press Ctrl plus P and select Parent with Empty Groups. And hide your rigged mesh. Now select your mesh and go to the Modifiers tab. Add a new modifier called Data Transfer. Click on this eyedrop tool and select the rigged mesh. Now enable those two settings. And finally apply the modifier. Delete your rigged mesh. And now you can test out your transfer. Finally export your rigged hair as an FBX. Open Unity and create a new project. Now import those files which I'll leave in down below. Drag in your FBX and texture. Now drag your FBX into this rectangle. Make sure all of the position values are with those south. Create a new material. Now drag in your texture in this square. Now you change the shader with this dropdown. You can choose what fits your likings best. Feel free to test out with the previews. Drag in your material onto the FBX. This is how your preview plus will show up in game. Let's add physics now. Open up the arrows until you get to the roots of the bones you'll add physics. Drag in the script into every root of moving hair. Select one of the roots you dragged in the script and drag it in those spots I show. Here are the settings for Osana's hair physics. Repeat for the rest. Go to the Scene tab. Select the whole thing and drag around to test the physics. Here is a quick tip. Make sure this name doesn't have special characters and caps. This will make applying the ref name commands easier. I'll explain more later. 
Now on the rectangle create an empty object. Make sure all the position values are zeros. Rename it the same as your FBX use the tip I gave. Drag the FBX in the empty object. Now drag the empty object down in the folders area. In the first tab paste in the same name as the FBX. And empty object. This will be the name of the Unity 3D. In the second tab type Unity 3D. This is your file type. This is the ref name. Click on the bundle option. Now open your Yander Simulator folder. Go to Streaming Assets, Post Mod folder, and drag in your Unity 3D. Let's create a new TXT in the Cutscenes folder. Now paste this command, it will be in description. The first row makes a Yano Bald. The second one uploads the Unity 3D. Let's copy and paste the name of our Unity 3D. Next up is the ref name. I showed earlier where you see it. By the way, the ref name is the empty object name. For the rest ref name, any name, just type whatever you want. So here comes the tip from earlier. If you name all of the things the same, just copy paste it everywhere. This is a much quicker way and not that confusing. Make sure to save. And lastly, now load Yon Seam. Click X on your keyboard and find your cutscene. Run it and enjoy. It worked. If you didn't understand something from the tutorial, or encountered an error, you can join my server in the description to find help. Thanks so much for watching, I'll post more tutorials soon.